Okay, so another thing that's on everybody's minds right now in terms of like where the market's going, where the economy's going is the presidential election. And yeah. um, a lot of a lot of people focus on on the election and what the returns what the election returns might mean for the market returns. And uh, mm-hmm. so I thought a little little history might might help. And so this shows um, the S and P total returns in election years, and then on the on the left, and then S and P five hundred election years one year or uh, returns one year after an election, broken down by party. And uh, you know the conventional wisdom is that Republican presidential victories are better than Democratic presidential victories for the markets. Right. And. Uh, you can see in election years that is not the case or hasn't been the case 14.6 percent versus 10.4 but i think it's it's even more interesting that a year later after you know policies become more concrete and the president's worked with congress there's almost no difference right you know and and we like to we like to think that or we like to think that it makes a big difference but um you know it's uh it's it, the, the the statistics at least don't show that. Now, if you know enough about statistics, you know that there can be outliers that skew things one way or the other. And of course, 2002 and a couple other um, pretty uh, or, uh, getting my years mixed up. Yeah, this one of... surprises. This one surprised me a lot when I, we were talking about going through it the other day. Mm-hmm. I, know, I would have guessed complete opposite, and I would have mm-hmm. guessed that there would have been some bigger impacts. And it's interesting. I actually listened to uh, I think Freakonomics had a podcast out about how much of the president actually influence or can they influence, and right. that brought on a couple of different experts, and they were kind of there was some of them that said very little, and some of them said that they have a big impact, and so not really a concrete answer, but it's yeah. interesting to think about you know, how much of an impact really is there. And obviously from a stock market perspective, not really a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of kind of uh, take it another step further. This chart shows non-election years versus presidential election years and midterms and so in years where there's no elections, the S&P 500 has averaged 15%. But then in years where there is an election, it's 10 and a half, um, whether it's a presidential election or a midterm election. And uh, that's yeah. pretty interesting. And that just tells me, you know what, things are going to be, to me, that speaks to the fact there's probably going to be more volatility, you know, as we go right. through the fall, For sure. both up and down. But at the end of the day, it doesn't, uh, doesn't mean as much. The chart on the right here is the same set of data, but excludes 2002 and 2008 because those were such bad years that they skew the data. And so when we exclude those, we end up seeing there's really not a lot of difference in election years versus non-election years. So Sure. um, Well, one thing that we always say, too, is, um, you know, the market doesn't like uncertainty. So it kind of bears that out when you know who's in policy, you know what policies are coming out. But when we you're unsure adjust. of what's going to yeah. happen, yeah, 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 then it's yeah. kind of scary yeah, and, the market, uh, at least. you know, it, it's funny. At the time, we didn't know how to put it in perspective. But I remember in the fall of 2000, when the election was being contested, the stock market was horrible, and right. uh, we're waiting for waiting for things to be resolved between Bush and Gore, and for the for the Supreme Court to weigh in. And the market was just horrible. And uh, once that was resolved, it, it steadied out quite a bit. But, um, you know, at the time, we, we were blaming it on the election and didn't realize it was just part of a huge bear market downturn anyway. Right. But, <laughs> we were hoping once the election was resolved. Was yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 